And the Attorney General of Nasarawa State, uh, Abdul Karim Kana, joins me for more on this development. Good to have you join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Um, it, Nigerians yeah. basically just watched this particular, um, when this clip surfaced online last year with horror and disgust. Um, there were a lot of criticism, you know, towards the family of, the, of this, um, of, of the lecturer. Talk to Ross about, we know that the state moved to prosecute this particular case. I can't, I can't hear you. I can't, I can't hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes, now. Okay, so I was saying that um, Nigerians watched with horror as clips of this particular um, of this particular abuse and assault surfaced online last year. Um, I was, and I also know that it, yeah. the state swiftly moved to prosecute this particular case. Are you satisfied with the yeah. sentence and the judgment um, of the judge? Well. Um... The most important thing about judgments of a court is that justice should be served. First, the victim must be taken into consideration. Secondly, it must act as a deterrence to those who may want to commit the same kind of offense. And um, I think some of these, all these were taken into consideration by the, by the judge in handing down the sentence yesterday. And I will say that um, largely, uh, I'm satisfied. Uh, of course, one other issue that was taken into consideration by the judge is the fact that um, the, the Professor Fred uh, he's a first offender. He hasn't, he's not an habitual offender per se. He hasn't quite been found wanting in the past. So this is seen as a random error or mistake on his part. And of course, um, the culmination of all this led to what may appear like a lenient punishment for his action. Mm -hmm. But I think by and large, um, justice has been served. Um, at least uh, time of the court hasn't been wasted. Time of the state and resources haven't quite been wasted too much. And we were able to swiftly uh, um, conclude the matter within record time and uh, obtain judgment and conviction and sentence against the perpetrator. Mm. And um, persons who, would, uh, who may want to commit the same kind of offense, I think, seeing what has happened to him, know how fast the law can work. I think they'll be more careful. Mm. Um, I, I, can't, I can't imagine how blessing uh, who went through this must feel about this, especially because those videos and clips are still online. Um, she was beaten, she was, she was stripped, and then, you know, we understand that it's, it's even the family of the lecturer that posted Ab those videos absolutely. videos online. Absolutely. What, what is what is being done for it's, her um, at, at the moment? The um, the 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 perpetrator, that's uh, Dr. Fred, has is has arrangement has been made for him to reach out to her. Um, a compensation of undisclosed uh, nature. I will not say amount has actually been made, as we have been made to understand. And all these were taken into consideration, I think, by the court uh, before handing down the sentence. Um, as to the fact that the video has gone viral, it's very unfortunate. And anyone who sees it is indeed a horror, as you have described it. And it, unfortunately, uh, um, the, by the nature of a digital footprint of such uh, a video, it may likely remain there forever. But in as much as it, it remains out there, doing damage, possibly, to blessing, but it also continues to do damage to the reputation of the perpetrator. Unfortunately, mm. unfortunately, because um, it also it's in in in, uh, in in essence it's a form of sentence for life for Dr. Fred himself. Mm. Because for the rest of time, people will come across those videos and will see what he has perpetrated, what he has committed. Mm. But blessing was also naked in those videos. Um, I don't know if this is enough justice for her. I don't know if anything else, if anything, will ever be enough justice for her. But at least. Mm. Um, there's an attempt to ensure that those uh, there's a deterrence for others who will be thinking of something like this. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you so much for talking yeah, well, to us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Attorney General thank you. of Nasarawa State, um, Abdul Karim Khanna.